Welcome back to the Junk Room, everybody. It's me, the Junk Man. We're here to count down the 100 voted Star Wars figures. I asked you all guys to vote. You all went to my website, voted, had over 3,000 votes, and we're going to count down all the vintage figures. Now, this is video part two. Hopefully, you've seen video one where we counted down 100 through number 61. And we're going to start 60 and go all the way to number 41. That's right. Trying to remember if I mirror my math. First up, I was hoping to get this video out sooner, but you know what I did? Deleted the file, and I had to go re-add up all the votes again. Whew. So hopefully, this time I saved it twice on a hard. Um, this time I saved it twice, so hopefully we won't have that problem again. So let's get to it. Before we get to it, as always, if you want to support this channel, go over to Patreon. Links in the description below. Head over to StarWarsJunk.net. Buy some cool shirts. Now, let's count down the finished Star Wars figures you voted for and see who's going to make this list. We're going to start at number 60 with a guy that smells like tuna. Biff for tuna. I bet that's what his breath smells like anyway. Releasing the... Released in the Return of the Jedi line. Look at me trying not to mess up so I don't have to edit, and I'm messing up already. But it's Biff Fatuna, Jabba the Hutt's right hand man. Let's go to number. Let me make sure I got it right. I'm already off the count, right? Number 59, and we have a tie. Yes, we have a tie. So actually, this top 100 is actually a top 101, I guess. But we have a tie. Two good looking figures. So let's get right to it. We got General Lando, Princess Leia, Bespin outfit. Me, personally, I like the Lando better. We have Lando from the Power of the Force line, released in 1985, one of the last, not one of, but the last line of action figures. I always like this Lando. I always like his silk cape. And then we have Princess Leia Bespin. I'm surprised this one's so high up on the list. This is a really nice looking Leia. Okay, now let's go to number, I don't know why I can't see my numbers here. Hold on real quick, guys. So now let's go to number 58, and it's everyone's favorite old Jedi, Obi-Wan Kenobi. That's right, the old man himself, also known as Ben Kenobi, falls in at number 58. Released first in the Series 1 line, one of the first original 12 figures. We all know that. Again, Obi-Wan Kenobi. Okay, number 57, and it's one of everyone's favorite bounty hunters from The Empire Strikes Back. Some people call this guy Zuckus, but we call him Forlom here at the Kenner Show. That's right, if you grew up in the 80s like me, he was called Forlom, so that's what we're going to call him. We're not talking about that robot figure, we're talking about the bug alien looking bounty hunter Forlom. Number 56, the only man that can fly a B-Wing, the B-Wing pilot. I can't believe this figure is this far down the list. Not one of my favorites. I can't believe he's in the top 60 but he is. Released on the Return of the Jedi card, he's the B-Wing pilot. And now let's go to number 55. It's one of the first original 12 figures. And another one that I'm shocked that's so high up on this list. It's the original. Princess Leia. That's right, in her white outfit with the bun hair. It's everyone's favorite princess, Princess Leia. What? How is this so high on the list? This should be in the top 20 at least. Maybe in the top 10. But nope, it's not. What number is it? I'm going to have to look at my computer to see. Number 55. So, number 54. He's the keeper of all keepers, the Rancor Keeper. That's right, one of the fattest figures in the Kenner Star Wars line, the Rancor Keeper. He's also the only human that comes without a shirt, but he has a towel on his head. But watch who you say that to, because some people might get offended. The Rancor Keeper, released in the Return of the Jedi line. Let me look over here. I really hate having to turn away from the camera, but I'm going to have to do it. Number 53 is another person you found hanging around Jabba's palace, Lando, but he's dressed up as a skiff guard, so you're not really sure if it's Lando or not. That's right, you get two figures for the price of one right here, guys. Lando in his skiff guard outfit from the Return of the Jedi collection. What number are we up to now? Let me look. 52. Okay, 52. We're going back to the original 12, guys. What is wrong? You guys don't like the original 12? But anyway, here we are back at the original 12 with C-3PO, everyone's favorite partner Corey droid. He can speak a hundred different languages or something like that. He's even He can even speak bocce, although the figure can't speak bocce. The figure doesn't do anything. But this original 12 guy falls in at number 52. So, and at number 51, it's the mummy of all bounty hunters, Dengar. Looks like he got into a knife fight right before the Empire Strikes Back or just has a really bad toothache. One of the best bounty hunters from the Empire Strikes Back line, you vote him at number 51, Dengar. Where are we at now, Dengar? 
Now we're going to start the top 50, and it's going to be an Astro Droid. And we are already doing our R5D4, so you know it's not him. Who is it? It's everyone's favorite droid with a scope, R2-D2 with Sensor Scope, releasing the Empire Strikes Back collection. Now, let's go to number 49. 49, I lose my eyes. Going back to the original 12, and how is this not in the top 10? Part of the original 12 line, we have the original Han Solo. You can get him in a big hit or a small hit. Here on the voting poll, it really didn't matter what hit you voted for. You all got still voted Han Solo. And can you believe it? Number 47 beat Han Solo. Imperial Dignitary. You guys are screwing with me on my poll, right? There's no way people like Imperial Dignitary better than Han Solo. But according to you guys that voted, you did. Imperial Dignitary somehow made it into the top 50. Number 46. He's the only action figure on this list that's not in Star Wars. Not anymore. He was taken out of the special edition. And we're talking about the old Skywalker himself, Anakin Skywalker. A nice looking figure. Always liked this figure. He's from the Power of the Force collection. What are we up to now? Number 45 from the Empire Strikes Back collection. It's the man that ran Cloud City himself, Lando. Lando in his blue outfit and cape. It's Lando Calrissian. Where are we at now? Number 44. Number 44, the only figure that looks like a cucumber and carries around a staff with skulls on it. Yes, we're talking about the man of all mans, Amanda Man. Really surprised that this one didn't get in the top 10 or top 20 either because it's so good looking. Kenner really spent a lot of time detailing this figure. Unlike some other figures, they really put a lot of work into this. So it's sad to see it's only made it in the top 50. But it did, so let's move on. Who are we up to now? I forgot. Oh, number 43. It's not a trap. Yes, it is. It's Akbar. Admiral Akbar himself from the Return of the Jedi collection. Where are we at now? Number 42. We're going back to the power of the force. And one of the coolest figures. Again, I can't believe this one's so high up on the list. Who is it? It's the Stormtrooper himself. Luke Skywalker in Stormtrooper design. You can remove his helmet. And that's Luke Skywalker. Two figures in one. A Stormtrooper or Luke Skywalker wearing a Stormtrooper outfit. Can't believe this one didn't make the top five. Number 41, it's the coldest Princess Leia of them all, Princess Leia Hoth. That's right, even the Princess Leia gets to get cold in this Hoth outfit from the Empire Strikes Back collection. Now, let's go to the top 40. Top 40 might be controversial because some people don't count him as a figure, they count him as a variant. But I count him as an exclusive Sears figure. We're talking about the bluest of the blue, Blue Snaggletooth. That's right, not the tall red cousin. We're talking about Blue Snaggletooth, only released in the Canna Cantina set from Sears. And he, tops, and he breaks off into the top 40. Number 39. The Wookiee of all Wookiees. The only Wookiee actually to make this list. Chewbacca, one of the original 12. Again, really high up on the list. You guys really don't like the original 12 out there, but we're talking about Chewbacca. Number 38 the last figure made. Yup, can you believe that? The last figure made is number 38, and I think you know who we're talking about. Of course, we're talking about the Yak of all faces, Yak Face himself, released in the Power of the Force line, never made it to the United States, only available overseas, overseas, overseas. Yep, it's Yak Face. Where are we at now? Who do we do? Who we do? Number 37, we're going back to the original 12. You guys don't like them. It's the Tuscan Raider, also known as a sand person or a sand man, or I just call him Tusk. It's Tuscan Raider. Very good looking figure. Why is this so high on the list? You tell me. Why don't you like the Tuscan Raider? Where are we at now? Tuscan Raider. Oh. Number 36, as you know, we go back to the original 12 with one of the little shortest guys there is, a Jawa. That's right, you could build a whole army with these guys. Release, as I said, as part of the original 12, it's Jawa. First came in a plastic cloak or a vinyl cloak, 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 whatever, and now it's Jawa. Just plain Jawa. You like him at number 38, I think. Is that where we're at? Number 36, sorry. Now we're going to start number 35, the only figure that can drive an ATST. The ATST driver, what an appropriate name for him. 35, ATST driver. Han Solo in the 40s, but ATST drivers. Let's move on. Where am I at? 
Number 34. Is Number 34. Let's go to indoor and play with Luke Skywalker in his indoor outfit. The thing I hate about this figure is his helmet doesn't come off. Why, Kenner? Why didn't his helmet come off? You did an Empire Leia. Empire. You did an indoor Leia. Her helmet came off. Why not Luke? I'll never understand that. But from the Power of the Force collection, it's Luke Skywalker in indoor outfit. Number 33, we're going to get really cold while we kill some rebels with the Hulk Stormtrooper. How can you not love this Stormtrooper? He's wearing an apron. Number 32, a figure I really love, but being that he's part of the Power of Force collection, maybe many of you didn't have him up here. That's why he's so high on this list. And we're talking R2-D2 with Lightsaber. That's right, the only non-Jedi figure to come with a lightsaber. R2-D2 has a lightsaber in his dome, and it's getting ready to pop. Where are we at now, guys? Number 31, our last one for this video, then we'll come back with the top 30. Who are we at? Oh yeah, number 31, everyone's favorite green bounty hunter, one of the best bounty hunters in the galaxy, Greedo. I don't care if he's shot first or second, it's Greedo. Part of the original, well not 12, the second series line, he ends this video at number 31, Greedo. One of the best figures to hold a gun because he's got his hand like this. No, I'm not doing a white power symbol. I'm showing you how Greedo held his gun. Thank you for watching. And don't worry, we'll be back in a couple of days to count down the top 30. I want to thank you all out there for voting. Don't forget Monday, we'll do a random vintage Star Wars Kenner figure review. And then on Wednesday, a random video, Friday, where we give you the best news of the week. Not just Star Wars news, pop culture news, toy news, and all kinds of news. We even answer fan mail. So, thank you for watching. Again, hit thumbs up, subscribe to this channel, head over to Patreon, go to Star Wars Junk, buy you some shirts, and we'll be back to count down the rest very soon. Thank you for watching. Thank you, sir, for that unsolicited testimony.